caught that big one right here. You caught that big old halibut on what? What did you catch him on? On the smallest rod. Put a little ass anchovy on his rod and he hooked the big old halibut. What a memorable moment for a six-year-old Juan Serrano who caught this nearly 22-pound halibut fishing with a Daiwa BG 2520-pound test and the smallest anchovy his dad could find. Congratulations, Juan and everyone. A gorgeous bluefin tuna caught on the condor at a fisherman's landing and a 34-pound halibut for Matt Tamayo on the CJ 1 of 5. <laughs> Good morning, my friends, and welcome to this beautiful beach in Southern California. This is Surfside, California. We're sandwiched between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach. It's Wednesday morning. There's no rain this morning or a heavy mist as we had yesterday, but there's a little breeze and there's going to be some weather, it sounds like. It's going to get a little breezy over the next couple of days, so we'll see how that affects our Apollo trip tonight. We're leaving out of 22nd Street Landing on a two-day trip, and we'll see how fishing shakes out. Hey, we've got a lot for you. In fact, Coming into this, you saw that big tuna caught on board the Condor. We also had to feature that six-year-old catching that halibut. We're so proud of him. That is amazing stuff. And the pursuit had a nice day yesterday. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Bluefin caught last night at night. It's been very slow, and we get a signal. That's a great sign. And while the guys out of San Diego may not be catching copious amounts of bluefin tuna, there are some big ones lurking, and more importantly, they are metering. They are seeing tons of fish, and that light switch may be going on. Who knows with this fish that was caught last night. We're going to have all that and so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Hey, mm, absolutely delicious. Thank you. Almost to 1,000 viewers on last night's show with Sam De La Torre. We're starting to move up to a thousand views on that video and man, that was fast and it was over two hours of constant questions from all of you and Sam and I totally enjoyed that. And I can't thank the people who sent super chats in. That was so nice of you, Israel De La Cruz. He sent over uh, some fun so Sam and I could go out and have chicken wings last night and solve all the world's problems. And then of course, we had a pizza sent over. We thank you so very much for doing that. It was a remarkable evening, no question about it. You can go back and watch that show right now. Nobody likes Sam De La Torre over there at Island Fishing Tackle. All right, let's get into it. First of all, if you don't mind, hit that like button, share these reports, and also subscribe to the channel. Tick the bell. You'll never miss a moment of content as we are constantly updating you with regard to Southern California sport fishing. But more importantly, we are also running basically a daily seminar on how you can catch more fish, talking to experts, captains, and making them your source for information right here on Freeman Adventures. And don't forget, we're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. You can follow us there. All right, let's get into it. Royal Star last night. In fact, I just talked to them before coming on air here. They had 11 bluefin tuna, mostly the smaller grade, 25 to 30 pound fish, but they are on some big fish right now as we speak, and their fingers are crossed that that's going to bite. Several other boats had a few fish at night last night, and a couple guests had even better than that. So there's some of that smaller fish biting, a few bigger ones being caught, and also a better sign than we have seen in quite some time. And hopefully that carries on into the daytime today. We are really watching this closely for you. Now, the Royal Star had some smaller grade bluefin tuna. Don't let that lull you into a state of complacency. You still need to be bringing that variety of tackle, but you need a two-speed with at least 100 pound on it because there are some big ones, big, big fish lurking. You saw that condor fish coming on. That kind of grade is a round. It's a round and you may run into that smaller fish, but you might run into that big stuff. So in addition to having a rod with 30, 40 pound to fly line with, you're definitely going to want to have a sinker rig type of setup with 60 or 80 pound to get the job done. Don't go under gun because this light switch could go on at any point in time. Now, do I want you to rent a two-speed reel? That's going to be dependent on where you stand, maybe financially and everything else. I mean, I don't want to see you spend money that you don't need to spend. However, you've already gone to the expense to go on this trip and make this trip so you cannot go under gun. You will 
you will just be a spectator if the big ones bite. And that is not something I want to see you do. So I'll leave that decision up to you, but it might be very smart to go with the kind of tackle we are talking about. The San Diego worked so hard yesterday, couldn't come up with a catch at all. That happens. But take a look at the meter on board the San Diego. And as they were saying on board the San Diego, don't let the fact that we didn't catch one today mislead you and think we're not tomorrow because there's a lot of fish here. And one of these days, it's going to bite. We always try to speculate as to why they're biting and why they're not. And a lot of guys will just throw their hands up and say they're bluefin. That's why. You know, they're squirrely. They'll drive you insane. I have to go back to water temp. I think it's still a little bit on the cooler side. We've been fishing 61, 62 degree water here lately. It's trying, trying to warm up a little bit, but it's actually been cooling in some areas. Well, we've been fishing that cooler water last year. We were up there around 66 degree water. And that is a significant drop. And a lot of this feeding is based on water temp. So hopefully things are going to continue to head in the right direction. Water's going to warm and the best fishing lies ahead. And that could even be today. We'll keep our eyes on it. Uh, sinker rigs, 80 to 130 pound. You want to definitely have that kind of tackle. That's what's my best. Fortune two-day trip, five bluefin. Liberty on a full-day trip. Left in the morning, came back in the evening, 12 guys, four bluefin tuna. Most of that fish on that day trip type, type stuff is big. Most of it is up over 100 pounds. Pacifica, a 1.5 day trip out of sea for 19 bluefin in the 40 to 80 pound class. So there you have that. We'll watch San Diego. I like the signal we're getting from the Royal Star and a couple of other guys last night. As we move you into daybreak right now, they are on some big fish. Hopefully that's going to settle in and start to nibble a little bit better. As we take a look now at some of our local islands up this way, can we see Cat? Not really. Catalina's back there hiding out. And then we have Santa Barbara and San Nicolas and Clemente. All those islands, uh, guys, were taking a look at it. The Thunderbird, Davies Locker, Newport Beach, five yellowtail. Nothing wrong with that. And they also filling in with whitefish and rockfish and providing excellent table fare for all of you. The Freedom, Trevor Downing was on the trip. And Trevor was with us just the other night explaining exactly how you can catch halibut and all the other species that they were fishing for. 32 halibut as the great halibut bite of 2023. Perhaps the best I've ever seen. Tino Valentine, captain of the Freedom, also with Trevor. He seems to be thinking about the same thing. All the guys think it's good. 32 flatties, a white sea bass, then rockfish. They had some nice lings on this trip. Can't get much better than that. My fingers are crossed that we're going to have that same kind of fishing for you guys on board the Apollo here this evening as we depart. And make sure you're at 22nd Street Landing about 6, 630. That'll be good. We've got a meal for you, so you don't have to worry about that. It should be really a lot of fun, my friends. All right. Uh, Pursuit was fishing Catalina Island yesterday. We let in with that. So you're kind of up to date on what they did, but they had a really good signal with 15 yellowtail, three halibut, a nice big fat white sea bass to go along with that. So Cat is kind of, you know, coming on and then backing off, coming on and backing off. We talked a lot about this on our uh, show last night, our live show. And, uh, you know, it seems like that place could be very good for yellowtail as the water continues to warm up. So nice hit there on the pursuit. No question about it. Patriot had five yellows over there also. So good signal on yellows. Hopefully those sea bass, there's been a significant amount of white sea bass caught at Catalina. It's been mostly yachts who are do or die sea bass fishermen. And the grade of fish has been phenomenal. The Dreamers been in on that. Several other guys have been in on it. We've seen a lot of 30 to 60 plus pound white sea bass even at Catalina Island. So that is pretty good. It's breezy up in the Channel Islands. That has made things a little bit more difficult. But the Aloha Spirit up there out of Cisco still managed a great day. 14 guys, 13 halibut, a white sea bass. The Endeavor's been having great fishing. Halibut sea bass, tons of rockfish out of Ventura Harbor sport fishing. The Mirage had a couple of white sea bass. Coral Sea out of Santa Barbara with limits of rockfish. They have had phenomenal halibut fishing up there in that area with some scores up over 40 fish, 40 halibut on a trip. And that is really some good 
shooting, mostly dropper loop, anywhere from a four to eight ounce torpedo, depending upon wind and current and the depth that you're fishing. In most cases, on these flatties, you're right up on the beach in 25 feet of water. It's really cool. It's fun fishing, especially when you see all these rods getting bit and these nice big rugs coming up from the depths and being gaffed and brought on board the particular vessel that you're on. This is an exceptional halibut year. My friend Bob Osborne, who studies fishing a lot, said we had a really good year in 2001. His memory, he was a little hazy. So I think uh, he said 2001. Hopefully he was right on that. And he mentioned, I think, so this is not exactly scientific, but he said, I think there was a really good albacore catch that year. Anyway, he's looking into all of that. And if he comes up with any correlation there, I'll let you know and keep you in touch with the latest. Beautiful morning here in Surfside. Uh, as I say, the wind is going to come up. There's some surfers enjoying this big surf down this way. And of course, I like that signal we got on the Royal Star last night. Hopefully that's going to head us in the right direction. The San Diego, look at that meter, man. It was just full of fish one of these days. That is absolutely going to bite. The kelp patty yellowtail thing has been a little bit more off here recently. There's still some fish, mostly small, 5 to 10 pound stuff, but we haven't seen the numbers that we once were as guys are focusing on this bluefin tuna. And I should mention, great rock fishing for the local guys, Enterprise, uh, Monte Carlo. For the most part, they're able to get you on the sculpin and then catch you some rockfish. One of these days, a big mass of barracuda is going to show up. But as I say, you know, Fish don't have calendars, they just feel the water temp and that kicks their metabolism into gear and gets them to bite and we're just not there yet, maybe any day now. Be patient, the best fishing is yet to come. I'll see a lot of you tonight on board the Apollo. I thank you so much for spending some time with us. Don't forget to hit that like button as we deeply appreciate all of your great support and I hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, my friends. Good morning. <laughs>